Hello, in this short video, I just want to show you a quick tip for practicing your jazzy arpeggios. So we're going to look at the major seven. Notice I'm swinging. And we're going to look at the seven. Then the minor seven. A rarer one, but the minor major seven. And I'm just going to give you a few tips about how to practice them, how to do a little bit of comping in your left hand and put the chord with that. So without further ado, let's have a quick look. So here's C major seven. C, E, G, B. Here's C7, C, E, G, B flat. Here's C minor 7, C, E flat, G and B flat. And here's C minor major 7, C, E flat, G, major 7. Probably the chord least used, but you do get it in pop songs and it's very appropriate for certain kind of moods in films. So I would work on practicing this as arpeggios. And you may as well swing them. put the major 7 chord with that at the start but then put it on different places there so do it with the 7 minor 7 put it with the 3rd for a change then I would go back so I would work around the circle of 5ths doing all those 4 chord types all the way around the circle of 5ths um, particularly staying at the top end around the C, G, D and A section, then coming back to maybe F and B flat because some of the jazz standards, quite a lot of them if you're playing jazz are in the, in the flat keys. I'll then go back and then break up the pattern. And, and devise your own pattern, but swing. You might want to go... And then do them, whichever pattern you pick, do them in all the inversions. Because when you're playing jazz, you want to be able to actually nip through something with different intervals and not always having neighbour note intervals, if you think about it, not going up the guy tones of the chord. There you go, I hope that helps. Subscribe for more videos and happy jazz practicing in the shed. Bye for now.